So we are live here, the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6 official and wheeling over here. So it's my part two. So thank you for staying, uh, staying tuned over here. So uh, now Apple is unwheeling some uh, camera details over here, as you can see. So the camera uh, is now the same 8 megapixel eyesight camera with true tone flash. It has a 2.2 aperture, as you can see, and also not uh, interesting over here. So, of course, the camera will be capable of shooting 1080p at 60fps, but no 4K. I repeat, no 4K video recording on the iPhone 6. So, the new iPhone 6 camera is still at the 8 megapixel, and it's not, and there's no more megapixels, it's not 12 megapixel, it's 8 megapixel with no 4K recording whatsoever, just 1080p. And also, um, also there is LTE speeds up to 150 uh, megabits per second, which is supported on the new iPhone 6 series. Uh, also, it has a total of 20 LTE bands. Um, also, with, uh, having superb coverage of uh, the, uh, the, the 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 LTE. And also, Apple is now showing some uh, example photos here. Uh, as you can see, this lizard over here, which naturally look uh, like a typical shot of a phone, and uh, nothing. Uh, you know interesting there so and uh, now Apple is now talking about that uh, the iPhone 6 will have digital image stabilization and uh, while the 6 plus will have optical image stabilization now it's clear that the iPhone 6 for 7 inch model will have digital image stabilization whereas the iPhone 6 plus will have optical image stabilization which is the big feature uh, on the Note 4 so uh, that's why it will compete with the Note 4 here so also the iPhone 6 here as you can see the prices for the iPhone 6 so iPhone 6 will start at $1.99 while uh, 6 plus will start at $1.299 also, pre-orders will start on September 12th, and the release date is the September 19th. Now, the iOS 8 release date will be September 17th. Now, um, iOS 8 will hit officially on September 17th. Pre-orders will be taken on September 12th, and the release date of uh, both of these uh, models will be September 9th worldwide, 19th worldwide. So, uh, this is, and also, uh, you will be able to make mobile payments and all kind of stuff that you heard before. So, um, that's it for my part two over here. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for the part three. I will be uploading pretty soon, and also, uh, I'm, I'm not impressed at the moment, so do comment down below what you think about this, and share this video as you can, because it's... Uh, you know, extremely disappointing things over here. Uh, you know, no 4K video recording, and you know, specs wise, it's just a disappointment. But of course, do co do comment down below what you think about this, and I'll quickly make another video over here of part three. We have some pretty much content coming on, so uh, yes, peace. So we are live here, the iPhone 6. Plus and the iPhone 6 official and wheeling over here, so it's my part two. So thank you for staying uh, staying tuned over here. So uh, now Apple is unwheeling some uh, camera details over here, as you can see. So the camera uh, is now the same 8 megapixel eyesight camera with true tone flash. It has a 2.2 aperture, as you can see, and also not uh, interesting over here so of course the camera will be capable of shooting 1080p at 60 fps but no 4k i repeat no 4k video recording on the iphone 6 so the new iphone 6 camera is still at the 8 megapixel and it's not and there's no more megapixels it's not 12 megapixel it's 8 megapixel with no 4k recording whatsoever just 1080p and also um, also there is LTE speeds up to 150 uh, megabits per second which is supported on the new iPhone 6 series.